We were, in effect, asking the curators and directors of museums to, to interpret this, this theme of discoveries in whatever way they wished. They brought objects out of the basement sometime or, or took them off their, you know, their display, the pride of place. And we began step by step to think what sort of objects are coming here? How can we make links between these? What, what are they saying to each other? And what are they saying about the, the various museums, about their own endeavours and their own characters? all along in, in looking at museums which were um, very diverse in, in, their, in their discipline, we were trying to find connections. You know, it's, it's, it's famous, uh, that, that idea that arts and sciences are, are separate realms, they don't come together and people don't understa understand one or the other, but they don't talk to each other. This exhibition tries to get them to talk to each other. Um, so you can see artists, um, uh, contemporary artists even, making works which relate to, to scientific, scientific discovery. I think that it works wonders in that it just adds the most incredible sense of atmosphere to the objects. It's because it's such a it's such an ornate space. There definitely was a huge challenge that the curators <laughs> faced when they were putting the exhibition together. But because Astor himself used to use the space as a space in which to display his quite eclectic collection of objects, I think it, it feels like everything is at home here. This exhibition goes back millennia, it goes, it goes back, well, it goes back many, many thousands of years with, with fossils and so on. But of course, all these museums are living and the research that is going on is, is ongoing and, and looking, looking to the future. So the digital optical module, which is a, a device for, for measuring and detecting neutrinos, which are literally invisible, is the final object. <laughs> 